Hey everyone, Jess here from J. Hoffman Knives. Gonna do a quick video on uh, how I grind my bevels. Um, I do it differently, I think, than, than most people. And there's nothing wrong with that. My technique works for me. Um, it, it may work for somebody else. I know I watched a video a little while ago and I believe it was uh, Bill Luckett, if I'm not mistaken, from Texas. And he ground everything edge down and to me that just baffled me as to how you could do that but that's the way he's comfortable that's the way he's done it and uh, it, it works great for him everybody has a, a different technique of doing it so we're going to draw uh, grind out this little um, hunter skinning knife pattern that i have um, this has been one of my better sellers and pretty popular the steel is just 80 crv it is hardened already so uh, we'll be grinding post heat treat you'll notice that I have already uh, put a 45 on the bevel I ran a center line and um, and ran a 45 degree I just do that on the uh, on the 10 inch wheel just because it's super fast and super easy with the uh, with the wheel as opposed to the platen I will be flat grinding this um, I may show hollow grinding, uh, make a video of that later. So what I do is most people start here at the plunge line and they draw their knife out. And that's the way I put in my 45. I start at the plunge line and I always start my plunge line. Um, you, you'll see that there's, there's quite a ricasso area on here. Um, that's not where my plunge line is going to end. That's just kind of where my plunge line is going to start. Uh, my plunge line will probably end up being back here, but I want to leave a little bit of room because I make mistakes. And uh, it leaves me a little bit of room to, to play around with and, and move my plunge line and um, get it exactly where I want it. So like I said, most people start at the plunge line and they draw their blade across and keep drawing their blade across. I do just the opposite. I start at the tip and I grind a quarter inch or a half inch um, all the way from the scribed center line all the way to the spine. This is going to be a, a full flat grind. Um, you can um, grind that all the way from the, the tip or the, the edge all the way up to a uh, imaginary line that you want to put on where you want your, your grain to end. But I'm going to run my grind all the way up to the spine with the exception of right at the back here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take off that first half inch or so and get that perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep nibbling at this and removing a uh, quarter inch at a time. And why I like doing it this way is because I'm just grinding that quarter inch and the rest of the blade, which is already pretty much ground, is nice and flat and gives me a nice reference um, against the platen. So you don't end up with a whole lot of um, uh, I, I, faceting is what they call it, facets on your grinds where um, you, you moved a little bit. Um, all I'm doing is I'm just grinding a quarter inch at a time and it just makes it really easy for me um, It's maybe a little more time consuming than than some guys uh, can whip out a blade pretty quick um, But we're gonna we're gonna do it this way and uh, it, it works for me. So uh, hang tight. I will get the uh, grinder uh, fired up and we'll get going another thing that uh, I recently noticed that um, it really has helped me out is I've gone and gotten cheaters uh, my friend Tracy Mickley from uh, USA Knife Maker recommended um, some cheaters a, a while back and I was really having a hard time seeing that um, that center line um, I, really the only time I used the the reading glasses and these are just 1.75 which is a really minor magnification. The only time I use them is when I'm grinding an edge um, and I found that it really helps when I'm reading something on a uh, caliper or even drilling a hole um, to, to see exactly where that hole is. 
I, uh, I put on the reading glasses. So they were five bucks at Walmart, so I'm not going to complain. But um, if you're having a little bit of issues seeing, don't be afraid to, to uh, get some reading glasses. They're dirt cheap and they're extremely stylish. I mean, I, I know it's kind of an Abe, uh, they're not Abe Lincoln, but uh, Ben Franklin look, but hey, it, uh, it works for me. So I'll get the uh, grinder fired up and we'll show you how I do this. Okay, so I'm back. I've got the uh, grinder set up. Now, if you are really observant, you might uh, notice that this knife is a little bit different than the uh, one that I showed um, just a second ago. It is the same blade, actually, but I, uh, I went to uh, demonstrate how I do my grinds, and I burn the tip. So, uh, um, just a little bit of the tip turned blue on me. I reprofiled this a little bit and put my 45 back on and um, all ready to start over. So what I'm going to do, as I said, and you can see where I started here a little bit, um, that's a little bit left over from where I burned the tip, is I'm just going to eat away a little bit at a time as I go. So um, because this is hardened, you do have to make sure I usually dunk after every pass. So uh, just to make sure that that's um, staying nice and cool and when you're working just on the tip here you can't grind very long there um, before you overheat it so here we go the blade there so you'll notice I'm uh, working my way up to that that center line here just on the tip Okay, so now I've run that bevel all the way from the edge, uh, just about up to the spine. You'll notice that as you work and you get back into the, the wider sections back here, uh, you'll, you'll leave a little material on top here. That's okay, because uh, as you make each pass, it's going to take a little bit extra off. So by the time you get back here to your plunge line, this should all be uh, nice and flat. So now I'm just going to take off um, a quarter inch or so here. So now as I take off these little bits, I've got this whole section right here to index against the, the platen and, uh, and keep that nice and flat and keep a nice even grind. I've got real uh, pretty high pressure as I'm eating away that and then as I uh, drag it across this I uh, lessen the pressure so I'm not totally grinding. Okay, so we'll see how um, I'm kind of leaving this line right here. That'll be eaten away as I continue to work my way back. But I'm always running this bevel right down to 
the 45 so that uh, I'm, I'm right on my edge, right where I want my, my final edge or close to final edge thickness to be. I'm going to have to run, uh, you know, a 60 and a 120 grit or maybe just a 120 grit um, on this blade yet. grind freehand. I don't, uh, I don't use any jigs or any rests. I know some guys like uh, jigs. That's fine. Some people use rests. Um, that's fine too. For me, they just kind of get in the way. coming along here. Now I'm back to where my original uh, plunge cut was done at 45 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep working on this area. I'm not going to go any further back. I want to do that uh, that actual plunge cut with a 120 grit so that I don't leave deep 36 grit uh, marks in that uh, in that plunge. So now I'm just going to work on this area here and move this uh, grind line up towards the spine. Okay, so from this point on, I am going to uh, be doing everything with either 60 grit or 120 grit to, uh, number one, move my plunge line back to where I want it and to uh, clean up this little curve right in here. But you'll see how quickly, um, and granted it wasn't a, a real big blade, but um, how quickly I was able to grind out this and not have any facets or any wobble marks. So, um, hope this helps somebody. If, uh, if you have a, a little bit different technique or you have a, a different idea, um, I'm always open for suggestions, but uh, I gotta do the other side, obviously. But nobody wants to sit and watch me grind knives. So, uh, appreciate you watching. I will, uh, getting ready for the Badger Show the end of March and uh, then I'll be getting ready for Blade Show this is my first year doing the Blade Show here in 2018 so I've been to Blade just uh, haven't had a table before so hope to see you there thanks much